and uh, everybody is waiting for which concessions Israel will make. Every time we have one of these conferences, it's all a question of how many, how many concessions could Israel make to make sure that there's peace in the world. As far as the UN is concerned, they constantly condemns and blame Israel every time they're attacked by crooks, thieves and murderers and hydrogen bombers and suicide killers. No matter what they're attacked with, they just blame Israel. Israel has every right to live except to defend itself. And Israel is considered heartless for not supporting the same people that are bombing them every day while their brothers are across the street with all the billions that wouldn't send them a nickel. the vicious dictators of, of different countries all over the world who are sworn to killing, plundering, and murdering innocent people. I like being like the Hamas does in Israel. We want peace. 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 How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is my regular blog, but this is not a regular blog because this is an unusual, unbelievable predicament that the whole world is in right now. It's suddenly a war breaking out between the Israelis and the Arabs. Now, if you ever watch these blogs that I've been producing here on a weekly basis for the past couple of years, you've probably heard me say a thousand times that any attempt to make peace with the Arabs is ultimately helpless and hopeless. There's no such thing as making peace with the Hamas. There are many Arab countries who are very decent and honorable and, and moderate people who are ready to make peace with Israel and accept the idea of the Israelis' existence as a state, but the Hamas can't accept them. They're determined to wipe them out no matter what. People don't even know. People have no idea that the, the Hamas is attacking Israel every day with bombs for the last five years. Bombs are falling on houses all over a certain area of Israel. Every single day, people are running and hiding from bombs. And nobody knows or cares about it. And everybody says, what is Israel has the goal to go attacking them with so much viciousness and intensity? Let me ask you a question. If a bomb is falling on your house every day, would you tolerate it for two years? Will you go kill the guy? Because you know if a bomb hits you, you'll die. And he's attempting to kill you. And if a guy is trying to kill you, wouldn't you like to kill him first? Would you sit there and just let him keep trying until he positively does it? Until you're destroyed? Would you don't take a chance with your life? Why would you expect the Israelis to take a chance with all their lives? When there was Pearl Harbor, when there was one bomb that killed a couple of thousand people. And because of that one day of bombing, that killed a couple of thousand people, we went to war. And we went to war in a way that we felt it was determined that we had to be right to, every moral -like obligation to, because we had to save our lives, because we know if we don't go to war and we don't wipe them out, they'll keep attempting to destroy America. Their purpose was to destroy America and to kill everybody in this country. So it only took one night of bombing for us to realize it and to get even with them. And we didn't measure how many bombs were allowed to throw, because we knew that if we, no matter how many bombs we throw, unless we wipe them out completely and make them capitulate, they'll continue bombing America. You didn't start and stop. You start because you want to finish. The finish was to destroy this country. And that's what Hamas is trying to do. They're trying to destroy Israel, and that's their only point and purpose. And you can't go with some small degree of tiny bombs and hit back seven, eight, nine people, or 12 or 22 people, because they're going to continue bombing Israel no matter what. So if you have to let everybody say, we are the ones who are killing the Arabs. They are the ones who are killing their own people. Because they could stop any time they want and save their people. They're making their own people pay with their very lives for their right to destroy innocent people in Israel. And if we don't fight back, everybody in Israel will die. So we have a right to fight back, don't we? And why are we fighting back to save our own lives? And we're saving their lives too by fighting back. Because the Hamas is determined to destroy their own women and children and their own people of their own country. Because all they have to do is say we quit. We don't have to quit and give up anything. Um, Israel doesn't want anything of their country. We don't want to dominate them or persecute them or conquer them. That's another lie everybody keeps telling you. With a, an imperialistic Israel. We're trying to do no harm to anybody. We just want to live in peace with them as partners in peace. Now they are killing their own people by being determined to kill Jews. And all they have to do is stop killing Jews and they would be safe. And they would save their own lives and their own people. Now they have a right. I have a right to shoot at you. Do I expect you not to shoot back? If you shoot back, who's killing who? I'm killing my own people because I know you're going to shoot back if you have any brains at all, if you have any will to survive. 
If you want to still live, you're going to have to shoot back. All I have to do is stop shooting innocent people. And all of a sudden, I save all my women and children. So who's killing the women and children of the Arabs? Who's killing the women and children of the Hamas? Is it the Jews that are killing them or is the Hamas killing them? The Hamas have a right to stop killing Jews and can save all their women and children. But Israel has no choice. They're being bombed every day and they have to fight back. What would you do? Would you do anything different? If you say you would, you're a liar. And you're an anti-Semite. And you just hate Jews and you want Jews to die for nothing because there's nothing they want from the Jews. There's nothing they want from them that Israel's not ready to give them. All we want to give them is peace. And that's the only thing they don't want because they're determined either to conquer Israel or forget it. We want peace. We demand an end to terror, an end to incitement and to hatred. We are prepared to make a painful compromise, rife with risks, in order to realize these aspirations. That's why these peace conferences have gone nowhere. While Israel gives them everything, they offer nothing but hate, killing, murder, and destruction every time.